Hello everybody, Hawkeye019 okay, here today. I'm going to be bringing you a brief sort of tutorial on how to beat Hunter Beast decks. Just because they're uh, common as dirt really. Um, Kumba Ballard playing a ton of games to try and find other Hunters. And then uh, do a voiceover of that, just simply because I'm too lazy. So what I'm going to do is just uh, simply talk about them while playing a game as a hunter. I do have a, a standard hunter uh, beast rushdown deck. One that, you know, I would probably say 70% of uh, hunters that you'd come up against on the ladder would play. So, we'll see how we go. <laughs> The only bad thing about him playing that is he can put into that, use that to heal and get draw. So, OTT. Ah, uh, yeah. So there's two types of uh, hunter beast decks out there, really. Well, two types of players as well that'll use it. Um, you'll have the the passive hunter beast deck, and then you'll also have the rush down. Rush down is what what I'm playing here. So the passive, the way they'll play is they'll, they like to play it risky and they'll wait until they can get a combo going. So they'll wait till maybe about 4, 5, 6, the mid-stage Mana Crystal game. They'll wait till they get that there and then they'll try and play a combo off that. Simple as. What they'll play with that there is they'll put out like so their Starving Buzzards, which if you don't know the Starving Buzzards give you card draw anytime you play an alert. Beast. Hogger. Yeah. Thank you. So, they'll wait till the later stage and then they'll play all these beasts in one quick go and try and get all this card draw. So they'll play again like their Starving Buzzards and then on top of that there, they'll maybe play the likes of their, their Iron Tusk Charge uh, hog things, get more card draw, and just play this in one foul swoop and get a massive card draw from there. And then, once they've got this here board presence set up, you have to counter this with obviously getting more board yourself out or getting board clear. Um, so they they want you to do this. Usually the reason they're trying to get card draw is so they can get the Unleash the Hounds card, which if you don't know, it summons a 1-1 one, one Hound with charge. And then when they play that, they'll play their Timberwolves, the Raid Leaders on top of that to try and board clear. And it's just trouble to your face, pretty much. Value! I'm not going to play that yet, because then you can just... Uh, Deficit. So hopefully that made sense. Really, the rushdown deck says what I have here is pretty straightforward. You basically try and gain uh, board control and try to end the game as quickly as possible. There's nothing other than that. He's just gonna heal himself here. Or smite. Yeah, you just try and keep board control. Try to end the game as quickly as possible. If if I end up getting ten mana crystals, I can guarantee you. Generally at that time. I won't even have any cards to use because I'll be pushing them all out. Hmm. Could do that, try to keep him alive. Yeah. Hopefully I can force him in using a death on... Actually, no, it's five or more, isn't it? One thing that I can say about playing any Hunter deck, regardless of it being passive, are the Rushdown, Boar Control, Board control, just board control for days. All the board control. You want board control. It's it's <laughs> against anybody. You want board control. Simple as. All the time you want board control. It's playing against anybody. Yeah, you you need it. Nice. I'm just see flex some serious damage here. To beat a standard rushdown deck like this, 
again, as I was saying, you need board control, but once the beast start building up, like I am here, that's that's trouble. Because I can add in a uh, a timber wolf here, give them all plus one. I can start adding starving buzzards, get even more card draw on top of that there. And if I have as much cards as you do, it's big trouble. Simple as. You don't want me to get uh, any sort of board presence up and running. So I don't have any beasts down here to play, so... I'm gonna just take this taunt here. Play this. So you just have to really survive until the late stage game with a, a rushdown. Any rushdown deck you want to survive till the late game. Because the beast deck is is low cost cards. And if you have a late game deck playing out, you know, you get your your iron golems out or your uh, high end taunts, core hounds, whatever. You get them out, there's no way a beast deck can effectively kill them. Just doesn't work. Let's just play this again. There's no other reason not to. Nice! See, that's what I'm talking about. Getting card draw after card draw. I don't know. If I lose this game, it's because I'm too busy talking, but we'll see. So yeah, you want to get into the late game, so there's no cost effectiveness to the beast deck. Look at all my cards, none of them as standard have anything about free damage or free health. There's, there, I only have one card in my deck, I believe, that has more than six health, and it was the Stormwind Knight that you've seen earlier. That is the only thing that costs over six for me. And you have two Thunder Rhinos that are five, and that's it. So you want to keep board control and get to the late stage of the game. Oh fuck, I forgot about that. I should have really read that. Oh well, I'll kill it next. So, hopefully that helps a little bit. If not, it's because I'm kind of tired. Can't really think right now. Should have silenced that. Yep. To beat a, uh, a passive hunter is a bit harder because it's it's harder to read them because it kind of seems as if they don't have any good cards to play. They'll just hog cards. Um, and they won't play many cards in their early game because they simply want to stack them. That's all. Get ready, you sunshine. <laughs> Could have actually kept that alive and just constantly pinged away at him. Hmm. The more you know, right? I'm gonna save this. He can't kill me within the next few turns, so there's no point playing any of them. So yeah, against the passive hunters, it's hard to tell what they're doing because they won't play anything. Oh, great. This could be GG. The best way to play them is to try and get taunts out. So they hate coming up against taunts. You know, they, they simply put it, don't like it. Uh, two, three. Hmm. Ah, I'm dead next turn anyway, so it doesn't really matter. Because he's just gonna play that at the end of his turn. Is that an RMP beast? It is. I really that. Yeah, he kills me anyway. Yeah, end of his turn. He could just end it. Unless I get lucky. So yeah, you want to play early game taunts. You want to hold on to spells. If you can hold on to spells, the board clear. Perfect. Happy days. Then that'll be great for you. You also want to play board clear secrets. Like for me, I have two explosive traps in this because 
come up against passive hunters, I'm dead. Oh. Oh. Well, doesn't really matter. I'm just gonna play this. And, uh, GG, I... Coming up against passive hunters, again, you, you want to get all these board clear spells out as, as quickly as possible. And, and just hold on to them. You want to play your taunts. You want to play your buffs to your taunts. Because they're going to just hold on to their cards, play everything in one go. And if you're unlucky to come up against one that gets a uh, Unleash the Hounds. Which they always do, because even though it's a random number generated game, there's these cards that you always get all the time early. It sucks. Hopefully that not helped. If not, whatever. I talk about this stuff all my all, all the time on my stream when people ask me how to play against Hunter Beast decks. Because honestly, we a simple beast deck and um a little bit of game sense you can easily push up to to rank 14, 15 easy as. I mean with this beast deck. I got up to, just using it and no other deck, I got up to about rank 15, like, in one game, or not one game, one, one day. Again, there, there's the, the only high cost card I have. It's very straightforward. Anyway, uh, you want to check out the stream, it's uh, twitch.tv forward slash hawkeye019. Today is Thursday the 1st of May. Tomorrow... 2nd of May, Friday, I will be on most of the day and continuation of my arena run. I gathered all this gold and intend to do a 10 straight arena run and get as much wins as possible out of it. The la I played two on the stream the other day but then had to go for uh, a, a few reasons um, <laughs> and on both of those arenas I didn't do great. But hopefully we can do better tomorrow and get another 8 blasts at it. Until next time, talk to you later.